Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to another Nostalgia Foods. After the last one, I decided any further ones will just consist of only one food. So let's get right into it. Today's food is the uh, main way I could get it was Papa Murphy's. Not sponsored by Papa Murphy's, by the way. Forgot to say that in the last video with the gushers and shit. I'd, I don't know why I would be sponsored, but just as a disclaimer, not sponsored by Papa Murphy's. But they sell a mini Murph where you, or it's uh, mainly for kids. You can make your own pizza. The that's not the nostalgia part. The nostalgia part is a little bit of backstory. Uh, my dad, for a good portion of my sister's life and a good portion of my younger life worked in a pizza parlor and a lot of the time having a parent who works in a pizza parlor she's making noise in the background I don't know if you can hear that uh, anyway um, a lot of time having a parent working in a pizza parlor you can get free raw pizza dough my sister and I would go back into the kitchen because we could well when it wasn't busy if it was busy as fuck then we couldn't go in there at all but when it wasn't busy for the early years of it we would be able to go back there and whoever was making the uh, dough whoever was cutting it into um, pizza circles because what they did is they had a big thing of dough if you've never been back there in the kitchen of a pizza parlor, they roll out a big thing of dough and they just uh, have bigger and smaller circles for their different sizes and cut those. So uh, that's my nostalgia food would be pizza dough. Literally every time we get it from Papa Murphy's, which is where you have to get it and then you cook it at home. So anytime we get Papa Murphy's, uh, I usually take a little piece of the dough before mom sticks it in the oven. And so I used, God, I used to eat this a lot when I was a kid. It's a miracle I didn't die with all that uh, stuff. Was like it's not good to eat raw stuff like that. The raw egg. Uh, I don't know if that. I know that's true of cookie dough, which by the way I ate that a lot as a kid. Didn't die. So <laughs> I ate a lot of shit and I didn't die. Do you do you guys notice that? They warn us a bunch of against this stuff that our parents, or even we used to do as kids, as younger, younger kids, and uh, we didn't die. <laughs> In fact, I mean, maybe that makes us immune to it. I mean, I don't fucking know. But yeah, I used to, sorry, totally off track here, I used to eat this shit a lot. This won't be like as whatever as the Gushers, but my god, I love this stuff. There was even one time, uh, I remember, uh, I can never remember the names of the people who worked there except for two people, but, um, there was a girl, uh, doing the dough, so they would give us, like, pieces from the, uh, when they cut out the circles, they would give us pieces from the excess dough, and there was one time, uh, a girl working the dough gave me a big fucking huge ball of it. And she realized she gave me too much, so she tells me not to eat it all at once. I ate over half of it, and if my dad hadn't stopped me, I would have eaten all of it. Uh, <laughs> I love that stuff so much. That was like my candy. Like, holy crap. Uh, anyway. Mm. Mm. I will tell you, different, different places have different dough flavors. Hands down, different dough flavors, because... I've gotten, mm, still tastes fucking sweet though. I've gotten pizza dough from here before because I was just like, oh, I want pizza dough, like a, more than just a little piece I get off. And she figured, and my mom figured out they sell this little mini kit stuff for kids. Mm. So I do that. And because you're supposed to actually make pizza with it, it comes with cheese, um, pepperoni sauce, of course. So, um, sometimes if I feel like it, 
I'll put this stuff on it anyway and just roll it up and eat it like a raw pizza burrito. Uh, <coughs> I realize there may be some of you who think this is gross. I don't care. That is my childhood. And I love this stuff. Anyway, yes, uh, the dough tastes very different because I, God, if I got dough from there, holy crap. They may have changed it by now, so it may just taste different altogether and it'll never taste the same as childhood again. This stuff still tastes amazing. If you're not someone who's completely grossed out, or if you're someone who is usually grossed out, but would like to try that stuff anyway, I recommend you try pizza dough. I will tell you this. Get it. If you can find a little, like, kit thing of a pizza place near you, most of you who watch right now live near me. So, if you can find a Papa Murphy's near you, or in the future, if someone's watching this who is far off, find it far off somewhere else in the world, find a pizza place near you that maybe you can get dough. Do not get it at a store. Do not, um, you can go to a store, and some stores, there was one time I found a bag, it's obviously for making homemade pizzas, you can get a bag of pizza dough. Do not get that, it's gross. Compared to this stuff, that stuff is absolutely disgusting. Mm. Yeah, it has to be. So like, say you have a... Uh, even if you don't, don't want to try much, get a pizza from a place that where you have to cook it at home. And just like, tear off a small piece, try it. Let me know in the comments how it tasted. Let me know what you thought. I mean, this stuff is <laughs> fucking awesome. <coughs> and if you don't like pizza at all, I sounds nuts, but I know there are some people. I used to have a friend who didn't like pizza. And that same friend would, uh, for his lunch at school, bring a spoon and a bottle of hot sauce. Yeah, hot sauce. I think it was hot sauce. Yeah. Anyway. Not saying that all people who don't eat pizza are weird, it's just a rare thing. And that's why so many pizza places exist, a lot of people love them. But if you don't like pizza, that's fine. You don't have to try nothing. The main thing I remember from, like, cat bothering me. What? Can I help you? This is not for you. You get sick when you eat human food. As I was saying, another memory from the pizza parlor, the main one I have is there was this really tall, like, six foot something dude, uh, whose name was, uh, Dusty, who worked with my dad. Well, let me tell you, being, like, a five-year-old child and having an over six foot dude lift you in the air, that... It's like the funnest thing ever because they're fucking tall and you're like this big and so you feel like you're gonna freaking feel like if they drop you you're gonna freaking die it's like for a kid that's pretty close to a very good adrenaline rush excuse me that is not yours no I don't know why that's in the ground A child found something to play with, not a toy. You have toys. Play with your toys. Never quit bothering me. You good? Okay. Thank you very much for joining me on this nostalgia trip. Uh, please, like I said, try this. It's amazing. And if you really don't like pizza, you don't have to. And if you really think it's really that gross to eat raw shit, you don't have to. Hmm. Oh, my childhood. Uh. This has been a wonderful time with you people. I can't wait to see you again. If you're new to this channel, hey. If you're a new person, I'd love to have you around. If not, hey. That's fine, but... If you want to stick around, 
there's that little subscribe button down there and then there's a little bell you click if you want to know when I upload. If you want to casually just uh, randomly get some uploads, but not all of them, you don't have to hit the bell. But if you want to know every single upload I do and guarantee you see them all, go ahead and hit that bell. If you don't want to subscribe, but you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I would love to know that you enjoyed this. Okay, excuse me. Uh, that pizza dough is very early in the morning for me. <coughs> I don't usually wake up this early, and that was my breakfast. If you have any suggestions for other types of videos, leave that down in the comments. A anything. Just anything. Put it down in the comments. Any thoughts you had from this video that popped in your head. Yeah. See you later. Don't judge me. I ran out of what to say. <laughs>